Wow, that was meta even for this channel. But oh, no, you haven't seen anything quite yet. It gets much worse. Out on the deepest, darkest of rim, deeper and darker than even... <coughs> Goatsy? I hadn't thought of a metaphor before I opened my stupid mouth. A planet shrouded in mystery and darkness, fought over by two warring factions, Void and the advanced mechanoids. But what if there was another? A seemingly innocent, unwitting fella just caught up in the mess. But who out there among us, who could be so smart and genius and have thousands of hours, by the way, at fighting both Void and mechanoids, who knows this Rimworld inside out? Well, it's not me, but, um, unfortunately this time around, I am the best you've got. With a slew of powerful faction mods fighting one another for control over the planet, a destructive and hostile environment, even if the factions are avoided, and CAI 5000 bring an advanced AI capable of defeating kill boxes, avoiding painfully obvious traps, and posing a threat unrivaled, only the best of us could survive. Which is why we're not going to. I have a deep, dark secret I have kept from all of you. I am immortal. If, when I'm killed, I'll just come straight back. Hooray! And in the time between, we've got to try and find a solid way to defeat the invaders. Maybe our touch of vampirism and mechanatoring and dryads, of course. Or what about psychic powers or godly war caskets? Arco level implants, stupidly powerful defenses. I don't just want to beat Void, I want to Hieronymus flex on Void. I want a throne of solid gold, tended by indentured Void servants, cooking me the finest meals and mining me precious jewels. Now you're probably thinking why is that called catharsis? That sounds very stressful, but think about it. We're gonna live. We're gonna die. We're gonna live again. We're gonna slowly build up the power and sure, the base and inevitably the stockpile will probably burn down once or twice. But then eventually, there's going to be a breakthrough, no matter how small and it is going to feel glorious. Now this is normally the part where I say, if you want to play along the workshop, the download, everything will be available. Nope. Not this time, because I haven't got internet. I've just moved house. It's a wonder I'm even able to do any content at all. I don't have internet for two weeks, but if I can hotspot to my phone and set up the workshop collection that way, hey, my treat. There you go. Maybe something in the comments will be down there already. And I wasn't joking. We are actually... It's me. Look, I'm right there. You can see me. I mean, it's as accurate as I could get me. My hair isn't quite that long, but everything else I think is pretty perfect. Ah, oh, it's like looking in a sad Rimworld mirror. I guess just a sad mirror at that point. It's me, Samuel Streamer. I am Streamer Kind, which we'll discuss in a moment. The ideology, Grass Touch, which we'll, um, we'll discuss in a moment. Awkward Nerd, and eventually became a Rimworld Exile. Traits include the Jack of All Trades talent because if you need someone who can put together a mediocre animation for a mediocre let's play with mediocre jokes and references with some mediocre mods of my own design you're in the right place easily amused chronically ill and hard worker perhaps the last two are somewhat related skills are vague and confusing because there isn't a youtuber skill up there and if there was, it wouldn't be that impressive either. And pretty much everything is as you see it. We've got some basic equipment, nothing fancy, just some clothes. And then, of course, the health tab, which again is very true to real life. I am a grand immortal. I have a cortical stack in my neck to download my consciousness to in the event that my body is blown to smithereens. And I have a cracked pelvis, which by the way, you can survive without a pelvis. You don't need that. I think the concept behind the idea legend is very simple, of course. We are grass touch gamers. Without grass, there can be no gamers. And without gamers, there can be no grass machinery and nature in harmony we can control the dryads we can be an enormous horrifying war casket as long as we're fighting for the side of life that's totally acceptable the precepts are a combination of what gamers would want and what will allow me to somewhat survive in this environment uh, the gamer things are things like recreation being loved and <laughs> religion being despised <laughs> We got some techism and, and carrots are improving things splashed in there too, but it's all very sensible, I think. The only role in the ideology is simply top streamer. Our relic is an enormous glowing sword called Dawnbreaker, and the venerated animal, of course, has to be the polar bear. I mean, there's also some preferred apparel, but we don't have to worry about that too much. Now, us internet parasites all have something in common, and that is our xenotype. Now, I personally am immortal with a Joris affinity, and I'm also British, so of course there's the underdeveloped teeth. I have a weak immunity, a frail back, and generally I'm unhappy, but the rest of it is more generic kind of streamery style stuff. I do have human hands. 
if you're curious. So we're here in a totally random unknown map and a totally random starting point on the planet. All of it shrouded in darkness. All of it not even known to me. Me in real life and me in game. With a totally random and unknown amount of mechanoids and void out there in the world and thanks to the mechanics from their own mods and dynamic diplomacy, they're just going to fight one another for a little while. They'll fight and destroy each other's bases and hopefully leave me alone. Thanks to Ignorance's Bliss and Tech Traversal, they're not going to touch us until we cross a certain technology threshold. Then maybe we'll draw the attention of the mechanoids in Void, but they've got more important things to focus on than me stuck in a cave. Oh, and it probably is worth mentioning we're playing on Casper Cursed Blood and Dust. Now, Casper Cursed has the unique mechanic that lets you pick skulls, which are additional little difficulties that you can add into your playthrough. I've chosen Curse of Pestilence, Curse of Fire, and Curse of the Blind. Curse of Pestilence halves immunity gain speed. Curse of Fire stops it raining whenever there is an enormous fire on the map. And then Curse of the Blind stops letters appearing on the right hand side we're not going to be notified about things i might not keep that one i'll be honest with you now there is one single thing i know about this map somewhere on it hidden away is a vault filled with all sorts of wondrous and very powerful technology that not only can we use as a starting base but might also give me some empowerment literally only problem is i am very very stuck right now luckily i did bring my trusty polar bear who should be out here on the well that doesn't really help does it i suppose we could just dig towards it and hope for the best <laughs> what an incredible start. Well, I'd say that was a good first day well spent. Ooh, we've broken through. My God, the outside world. Oh, it's hideous. And when I say this was random, I mean this literally. I had no idea that I would end up in a desert. Somewhere is that polar bear. Now, you may also notice we have some fog of war going on here as well. Line of sight is going to be a very important thing. Again, it ties into that whole void darkness aspect. Where's the polar bear? Hello? You are my best friend. I can't I can't afford to lose you. I have no other friends in this world. Joris the first? That's not very optimistic, is it? <laughs> I'm just gonna I'll just stick with Joris for the time being. This isn't nearly as bad now that I've looked around. I can't believe we spawned <laughs> in one of the most inconvenient parts of the entire map. But if you look right here, there is a vault with a significant amount of power and some sort of very basic defenses outside. Though it's certainly not gonna do anything up against Void. We don't have to worry about Void for a while. Hackerman. Oh, Oh, no. No, no, no. Maybe we do have to worry about Void. Oh, God, they're right there. Ah, oh, nice to meet you, Void. I'm Mr. Streamer. But please, call me Mr. Streamer. A group of five well-dressed, heavily armed individuals with purple-colored masks and piercing blue eyes stare into your soul as they approach you. They come bearing gifts. Oh, they would like to make it clear that they've come to negotiate, not to fight. Greetings, we are Void. You are unlawfully trespassing in our newly annexed territory. You must leave this world at once or else we'll have to forcefully remove you. You'll have to leave this planet effective immediately. The advisor sizes you up briefly as you think of your reply. You have three response options below. I can either beg for mercy, trying to play to their humanity. They seem like reasonable people. I can respectfully decline. I'm not here to beg or surrender to anybody. Or I can say something incredibly insulting and immediately attack them. Um, I'm going to be real with you. Please. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Please. We understand. We aren't unreasonable people. You have an extended 30 days of stay. After that, we have to act upon our newly established laws as future government of this world. Please accept a token of our hospitality. A leaving gift. Goodbye. Oh. Oh. They left me some red wine and some good to all medicine. Oh, how terribly kind. Maisie Small. Oh. Oh, and all of her frightening. Hideous friends. Oh, good. Uh, just amazing. Um, how long till we've had that vault open, Hackerman? Oh, good. <laughs> I think we're gonna need the 30 days. Don't panic, little Joris. We'll be in this vault in no time. Door one down. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I knew what I was getting into. It's fine. Come on, food, furniture, anything. And we're in. Nothing. Still nothing? What about behind the doors? Hey! Power. Chem fuel power generators. We've got a geothermal plant. Behind door number two. Hydroponics bays, amazing. Yeah, like food would be would be really, really nice though. Been here for days. Fortunately, that little cave that I climbed into uh, to begin with had a sun lamp and some steel for us, so we can set up some hydroponics eventually. Let's go ahead and connect up this door here in the hopes that we get some food. Hey, you wake up, stupid. Okay, here we go. Come on, show me some food. Yes! Oh, problem solved. Eat. Oh, Joris. No, Joris, that's human food. Surely there's something out there you can go and eat instead. It should be pretty safe to keep hacking for a while. I mean, obviously, we're not going to be notified if any animals go mad or anything like that, so we've got to keep an eye out for things, but you should be able to deal with it. Between the turret and the polar bear, we should be safe. Excellent work, Hackerman. Oh, look at all of this. 
More medicine than we could ever possibly use. More components than we could ever possibly use. Wow, this place is going to take some cleaning up, huh? What is that? We've got broken asphalt. Oh, look at all the tidying up I've got to do. Ah, oh, a mending bench. Ancient crypto sleep suspended. That's quite nice. Ancient educator. Well, that's no use because I can't read. Hello. Oh, a nice little bedroom. Okay, hang on. Isn't this exactly the same vault that Dr. Man had? All those... I think it is. I think I recognize this vault. Oh, happy day. What a blessed time. Wear the power armor. Oh, I feel better already. Look at this. Can I say blood and dust for the difficulty? Whatever the highest one is. What is it? It's not blood and dust. Ah, oh, that one. Yes. Losing is fun. There we are. And ooh. Oh, nice explosive room. Excellent. Pipeline junction contains chem fuel. Very nice. Oh, boy. Oh, I think I'm going to need to go to bed soon. I'm going to have to get some dinner. All right. You know what? Fine. There you go. Live your life. No, no. I said live your life. Not shit on the floor. Oh, could have at least gone outside. We've got to live here. <laughs> That's amazing. That really is the best thing I've ever seen. I want to know what's going on out there in the world. I think what might be a fun idea is when we get a comms console, that's when we could, should be able to see the letters and, and find out what's actually going on out there. Right now, there could be mechanism ships landing. There could be Void fighting other factions. We just don't know what's going on. Sad wandering. What do you mean, sad wandering? We haven't got time for this. Oh, just watch where you step. Joris, Joris, what's your training like? Can I draft you up? No, you've got one condition that needs tending. <gasps> He's got the flu already? We've only just started. Well, we might as well get to grips on what we actually do know here. Uh, wow, not a lot. Oh my god, there is so much to know and I don't know anything. What an idiot. Okay, we've got, uh, we've got decorative props. That's always good. We do start with the knowledge of rim atomics. As you all know, I'm an expert when it comes to nuclear power. And this time around, we have totally random research too. It's faster, but I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a professor. I don't know. I'm just going to try it until it works. So that would give us a, a, a reasonable, I think, excuse to kick things off with a bit of rim atomics. That's something that we can directly control. From YouTube gamer to nuclear scientist. Right now, just a, just sad wandering, really. Things can get better. They will get better. We can do this. I've regained hope. That's not how that works. Drinking water. No, don't drink the stagnant cave water. Oh, maybe that's something we'll have to address quite early. But you're washing in the cave water too? It's cave water. You were probably cleaner before you jumped in it, you moron. I mean, let's get back to Hackerman so we can decide what we want to do with all of these different vault rooms. Now, bear in mind, the vault wards are very, very, very powerful. Normally. Normally, as in we're not shot at by Void. And thanks to that combat AI, I feel like the walls being shot by Void are very much a strong possibility. Hello. Ooh. Crypto sleep sarcophagus. Unfortunately, given that I am a YouTube gamer, I'm incapable of social interaction, so we can't recruit these people, but maybe we could do something else with them. I could build a quarry and force them to work in it. <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure I have the powers of suppression right now. There's a there's a big difference between running a Discord and uh, stopping super soldiers from going onto a riot. Penultimate door. Ooh. Hello there. Oh, look at all of these things. We do need to connect up some power and bloody fast before those nanites disappear. Uh, hey, get some get some power connected up, stupid. This is why I was here in the first place. This is what I heard a rumor of on Twitter. <laughs> Somebody messaged me and said, yeah, his combat doesn't work with war caskets, but you know what, might? Superpowers. This is, this is absolutely not going to do anything against Void. How are you doing? You're in good spirits right now. You seem in pretty good spirits. Uh, well, in that case, <laughs> what do you get to work? Oh, oh, this is good. Should we just jump in right away? Just jump into the Gene Taylor and Pod immediately? Oh, this is a terrible idea. This is an awful, terrible idea. And that's exactly why I do it. Don't I don't have to justify my actions anymore. I'm me. I am me. I was me all along. Yes. Yes, what if I die? Oh no, what if I don't die? What if I get brain damage? Well, I'd be a better YouTuber. Start operation. Add superpower. 34% chance of failure. You're telling me there's a chance, though. Oh, you can connect up to the ENIAC. Oh, that's cool. Super nanite dialyzer centrifuge. Oh, yeah, whatever, that's fine. We currently have the three nanite injector pumps. I presume everything else is connected up there, right? What does this thing do? Uh, oh, no, we don't need to worry about that one. That's the wrong type of power. I need superpower, not electric power. This will reduce the experiment failure. Oh, so we don't have the machine that lets us pick between them then. 
Oh no. <laughs> We're going to get some really terrible superpower. <laughs> well, you got to you got to you got to you got to try it. You got to see it. 5 days 15 hours. Boom. You, you seem to have walked in backwards there, me. Well, I can't see a damn thing. Holy crap. This is so dark. Hello? Doris? I seem to lock myself in this pod. No. No, I'm not dead or gone. What do you mean dead or gone? No, keep playing. <laughs> Don't be so ridiculous. I'm right there. What was that? What the hell just happened? <gasps> Joris! Joris, I forgot about your flu! My sweet boy. My sweet boy. Oh, I guess there's nothing for it. Better click the impale porn button. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there an impale porn button? This stops an immortal from reviving. Oh, right. Okay, fair enough. In theory, there shouldn't be any other immortals out there. So we... Joris? 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 Joris was immortal all along? Who could have predicted such a strange turn of events? <laughs> That's right, Joris is everlasting. He is immortal, unkillable, much like myself. I'm a grand immortal, though. He's just a regular immortal. There is a pecking order to be established. Though, to be fair, if Joris wanted to re-establish it with his enormous bear claws and his enormous bear teeth, he certainly could. So, impaling an immortal stops them resurrecting, but beheading them will kill them forever. I presume you can un-impale an immortal if they have been impaled and it will unpause their kind of resurrection timer, so to speak. And speaking of resurrection timer, boom, I am free. Stronger and more powerful than ever. We don't know what I've got. Oh my God, we have no idea. It's a total secret. This could be something incredible or it could just be, what is that? Superpower. <gasps> Genius intellect. The subject's mental processing speed has been vastly improved, resulting in excellent deducting and analytic abilities. This allows him to research new or existing ideas at triple the speed compared to others. If you weren't able to keep up with that, that's because you're not as big, bulging brain as myself. What's this one? Oh. Shit. I don't like any of that. <laughs> oh, no. Is that a game over? <laughs> <laughs> no! <gasps> ah. Well, you'll never learn. <laughs> no! My god, he's accidentally become. I've accidentally become the perfect YouTuber. So big brained and egotistical that he refuses to do anything. All he does is lie down and perform. Wow. God, I wish I was a Twitch streamer. There is a way. We can still do right-click options. Don't give up hope yet. I'm not going to give up hope. What we need to do is find another vault and try and find the machine that removes... removes weaknesses. Is Joris a good pack animal? We're about to find out. Did it... But we don't know where the hell it spawned out there in the world. We're going to have to do a damn tour to try and find... Jump to sealed vault. It won't tell us. No! Wait. Maybe it did jump to Sealed Vault. I think it's out here in the wasteland. This isn't quite how I anticipated the first episode going. Simultaneously, we we can't do anything else. Oh my god, we can only carry 18 kilograms of mass. <laughs> we might have to do the operation in the other vault. You're gonna have to drop that armor a second. Uh, let's think about this. Oh, okay, that's fine. We can carry 10 kilograms back. Oh god. All right, fine. Let's let's head off then. Into the darkness we ride, and there is the sealed vault out there in the wasteland. H how long did we have until Void said they were coming to attack? Because I don't think we're going to be ready. Oh, we're so insignificant still, they might not attack us because of ignorance is bliss. Simultaneously, they were very threatening, weren't they? They keep saying us, but there is no us. It's just me. Me and Joris. Oh, wow. Well, this wasteland is cool. I absolutely love that we got the superpower that gives us the ability to research exceptionally fast. And then a weakness that took away the ability to research. That's great. Oh! Okay, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 Careful there. Can we cut can we just cut the power line? Where, where are you getting power from? What if I what if I just claim claim all of that? Okay. Um we'll take this bit apart here and that part. Oh! This bit apart at the top. That's probably a lot safer than trying to fight the thing. Bear in mind. If we die in a caravan, that's the end. You can't deconstruct. Oh, so big brain. 
It was so big brain. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, Joris. Oh, by Joris. Okay, oh, you need to go patch yourself up. We're just gonna have to take this. You never do doctoring. I don't understand why you're like this, though. Is it, it's gonna heal, though, from our immortality? I'm not entirely sure. 4.6. 3.9. It is healing. The problem is, of course, if you die in a caravan, that's it. That's the end. Goodbye. Even our immortality won't save us from that. It'll just be caravan lost and see you next time. Nice. Nice. Now get back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I don't know what these machines are, but hopefully one of them removes the negative. Stabilize mucus inducer. Unlocks an additional ability. That's not what I'm after. Uh, we've already got one of those. What about this thing? Unlock an additional ability. No. No, come on. And now the power's cut, we can't explore the rest of the vault, and I can't reconnect the power, because I can't build anything. Oh, this has just been a tremendous journey. I guess we grab the super nanites and leave. And as much as I'd like to take these, 35 kilograms each. Can we even uninstall them? Because you can't do deconstructing. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh my god, happy day. The only chance we've got of getting out of this mess is finding a vault with the with the ability to remove the negative and then getting in the machine in that vault and taking it away because we can't carry the machine back to the main base, right? It's somewhere in the darkness to the north. This is quite a journey though this time. Well, good luck. Let's see what we can find. This is actually kind of amazing. I was so worried about starting in a sealed vault where it gives us marine armor and you've got a chance to get some really powerful stuff from it. And of course, the superpowers themselves. I thought that this was going to be unearned. I thought it was going to be such a powerful start. And no, the game has really set us up here to earn these powers. Where are you, vault? Ooh, the galactic black market here. Technology traders, probably here scavenging the remains of Void and the Mechanoids. Whoa, they're actually pretty close too, that works out well. And here we are, just north of Lake Dead Dinosaur, we have the third vault. Please, please, for God's sake, save this playthrough. <laughs> I don't ask for much. What the hell is even that? Charles Charlie Baker, uh, back off? Oh my God, the turret's got us covered. Thank you, turret. I wonder why there was combo music. Thank you, my friend. Okay, get into cover. <laughs> not having any letters pop up. Not having any notifications whatsoever. That's very difficult. This is a, everything is a surprise when you could potentially be shot at any point by super soldiers. Oh no, my friendly turret. Oh, it's almost destroyed here. Give him a hand, give him a hand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, have you got anything useful? I really regret not bringing that armor now, that marine armor at this point. Um, I'm, I'm taking your clothes. These are mine. What is that? Oh, it's a biocoded SMG. I don't need that. Uh, give me all your clothes. Hand them over. Marine gloves. Done. Marine boots. What is that? Hyperweave thermal underwear. Ooh. Hell yeah. That's stylish. I like that a lot. Thank you. Um, let's get that mini turret pack equipped as well. What did you have? Oh, you're still alive. Let's get you stripped. Have you got anything useful for me? Uh, did we just put on someone else's worn underwear? They're ancients, too. They've been wearing that for a long time. Oh, didn't even stop to hesitate. So, oh, someone else's underwear. Hell yeah, give me that. What is that? <gasps> you stood back up? You stood back up? How the hell did you get back up? Hey, die. You, everybody knows that you can't take a vault without underwear. Cannot finish off Charlie melee six skill required. All right. Well, I'm sorry. This hurts me more than it hurts you. Where did they even come from? They were just on the map. Oh, shit. Well, that's something else to worry about in the future. Oh! Okay. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, could you just, like, attack, though? Could you just attack of your own volition? That would be fantastic. Uh, I feel a bit more confident now with, uh, with trooper armor, marine gloves, marine boots. We might be in for a chance. Oh, God, don't go catatonic on me. No, 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 no. Not like this. No. Oh, that means immortal. I'll just come right back. <laughs> Samuel has recovered enough sanity to stop killing random farm animals. Well done. Well done. You should be so proud of yourself. Are you upset because you killed Joris now, though? Ah, uh, venerated polar bear died. Minus five. Amazing. We've got the broadcast station. Did it cut the power line in? Oh, Joris, hello. You're back. Right, let's have a look around then. See what we can find. Preferably some food. And some recreation would be good. Oh, no, there's more turrets. Come on. Area is now safe. Are you lying to me? Am I going to find more bloody turrets in this next room? Oh, no. You can't do me like that. Oh, 
Just tack the door. Wouldn't be the first time you shit all over a vault floor, so why break the habit of a lifetime, eh? Yes, I know. I know I have. For God's sake, you don't need to keep notifying me. What are these stacking cases of it? What a horrible way to live life. The immortality is removing it, and then it's immediately... <laughs> but it's immediately going back. <laughs> Just a non-stop bodily expulsion in every direction. What is that thing? Stabilized mucus inducer. That's not what we're after. It's just a big, a big crate. Come on, please. Just make this pain end. Come on. What is that? Genome stabilizer. Whoa. Cut the chance of... Oh, no. Cut the chance of failure by 10%. That's not what we bloody need. It doesn't... It doesn't also remove it, right? Okay, fine. Final chance. Here we go. I don't even know the name of the thing that we're looking for, but it's not here. It is not here. Damn it. I'll just double check this. Was pro Hello? Is this, is this like a game over, though? <laughs> <laughs> it's a game over all along. Because we can't we can't carry the pod back because we can't carry it. Or we can't carry the machine back even if we find it because we can't carry it back. We can't get in the pod while we're there because that counts as uh, as us as, as disappearing off the map. So that becomes an immediate game over. We can't reinstall the machine if we find it back in the home base because nobody can construct even if we find a way to carry it back. We got the one power in the game that basically gave us an instant game over. <laughs> Even if we died, it would have been better than this. Even brain damage would have been better than this. I think the only autosave I've got <laughs> is when I'm already... Oh, no. I'm already in the tube. And I'm 99% sure there's an anti-scum mechanic in this that stops you. Your powers are generated when you click start operation, not when the operation ends. I'm pretty sure that was the case last time I played. Maybe something's changed. Boy, I certainly hope something's changed. Otherwise, there's gonna have to be a healthy dose of movie magic. Or we cancel the series. Take your pick. Come on, me. Do it. No, don't take that out of context. Ah, oh, shit. I've got to be so careful about what I say this time around. Oh, the minimap's working. Hey, that's pretty good. What are you? Why are you on the floor? Why are you on the floor? Why is your brain scarred beyond belief? Will the immortality cure that? It will, but very slowly. <laughs> Brain damage. <laughs> I take it the operation was a success then. Thank you for joining me. What a what a what a perfect apt ending to the first episode. In my hubris and my overconfidence, I try and give myself superpowers. I have a nightmare about being trapped in the tube, abandoned, lost forever. I have a nightmare about my powers being so useless that I refuse to work and I have to go on some grand adventure. And in the end, I just get brain damage. This could not be any more of a perfect series opening featuring me. I should have just called it Rimworld Brain Damage, shouldn't I? <laughs> Amazing. And as I lay there on a cold, defecated vault floor, I will say thank you for watching. Feel free to keep throwing suggestions in the comments. Just carry on as usual. Give me your feedback and everything else. I do get a couple of hours every night where my mobile internet seems to just work enough that I can load Discord and have a look through and things like that. So I will make a habit of writing down your best comments so that I can at least act on that in between recording sessions. And hopefully we will be back to normal by next week. I should have internet in my new house and everything should run perfectly. But until then, I will say a big thank you to the eternally loyal and patient patrons. Your loyalty will be rewarded as soon as I have an office set up here, as soon as we finish moving in properly. I have nothing in my life to ever worry about at that point, right? This is it. We're here. We've done it. It's fine. So I've got lots of big plans coming up. I've talked about them in that Patreon video. Uh, things like a website that I want to work on where I can put some nice fun tools and useful stuff for those of you making Rumble Mod Packs and blah, blah, blah. Uh, stuff for the videos, like a storyline, a timeline, things like that. Lots of big things to work on. And hopefully soon, I'll actually have the time and more importantly, the space to do it in. Thank you. Thank you especially to Wilson Aaron, Heroic Cat, Luna Wolf, 007 Bond 62, Taco Cat, Yuban, Zarko Yanev, Lee Zero, Rixo, Somebody, Griff, Amu, Tanya Dagura, Chaff, Bryce, Opossum Supremacist, 
Mert Skirt, Next Art, Vincent Van Giel, The Legend, Boss, Gareth Parker, Hanky Spanky, Bobism, Snowdog TW, Cooley, Gazoose, Peter Sorossi, King, Jar Jar, Grant the Hero, Selfish Ghost, and Sal Chung Tai for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for your eternal patience. It has been... I, I, I will reward it ten times over. Just another week, and then I'm back to my full power. In fact, stronger than I've ever been before. Much unlike my RimWorld self. Thank you as well to Jahihi, Raptor Mother, Offensively Canadian, Sondre, Ed, formerly the Cupacunga, Bucky, the Solo Goldfish, Christopher, AJ, Sutenback, Gallo, Ethan Hurst, Orange Smoke, Generally Mean, Jake, Jake, James, Shredo, Voidless, Sam Harmon, Shadow Step Zero Two, Luna, Maya, James Beaton, Christopher Bailey, Bjornulf, Red Racer, B18, and Master Shredder as well.